Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get this sign in with Google button on your React app. So as you can see, this Google button is fully functional and you can log in and we'll, after you log in, I have it to where it could show you your profile picture. So as you can see, I clicked on this one with that profile picture comes up and you also have this log out button. Right, so to get this done, first things first, you're gonna need uh, IDE. I use Visual Studio Code, you could download it right here. And you're gonna need a Firebase app. And um, to get a Firebase app, you're gonna need a Google account. So once you log in, you wanna go to console. And then you wanna hit add project. And we're gonna call this one test login four. Hit continue. You don't have to have this on. Then hit create project. Now that that is done, you want to hit continue. And then it's going to take you to this page. Now, you want to hit this button right here for web and then just call it test login for or whatever you want and hit register app now you want to hit continue to console once you've done that you want to go to authentication hit sign in method and then click on this google one and hit enable and then click project support email and then click the email and then hit save now Google's enabled now after you have done that you want to hit settings project settings hit config and take note of these two keys right here we won't need them for now but I'll tell you when you need them so then after you've done all that you want to go on to Visual Studio Code. And then here's when I'll, here's where I'll show you um, how everything's implemented and working. And don't worry guys, the full code will be in my GitHub in the description down below. So if you want to just uh, clone this whole thing, it's going to be in the description on my GitHub. So. First things first, you're going to need a React app. So to do that, you create a folder on your desktop or anywhere. And then you want to open it up with your IDE um, and write npx create react create dash react dash uh, sorry create dash react dash app and then the name of your app so this video is for anybody that's um, already a little bit advanced with uh, react but if you want to know how to um, install react app just go to react.js on Google and go to their website and they'll show you so once you do that there's three packages that you want to download also so you're going to want to download .env, Firebase, and then also React slash Firebase UI. Alright, so once you have your React app, it's going to look like this. So then you want to create a new folder called Authentication, which I have here already done. You want to create these two files in Authentication. So you want to have this button file. Now, what this button JS file has is the preferred way that the author of react firebase ui wants you to implement it and it also i also added the google photo your photo url your profile picture and also the sign out button myself so as you can see here it says if the user is signed in then return this so that's why it comes up after you're signed in 
and then in your config file this is where it gets interesting you want to you want to write it exactly like this because when you make your uh, .n file, so when you make your .n file, you want to make sure you create the file by right clicking app and then new file and then it will be .n. So and then in your .n file, you want it to look like this. Here you will put your own uh, Firebase, this API key right here. This is where you will add that and then your domain off authentication domain key will go right here. So those are these two keys that I was telling you guys about. And then after you make your .n file and save it, then you want to make this your configuration file. And then that configuration file is also connected right here with your button.js file. Now once you have those two files already uh, completed, that's when you want to go into your app.js. Now I delete, when you first get your app.js file, it's gonna have two a whole bunch of stuff in between these two headers. And you just want to delete everything just to make it simpler. And then you want to uh, import sign in from off button. So as you can see in off in the in the button.js file that I got in the off folder, I exported it as sign in, and that's why it says import sign in from off slash button. And then you just want to add it in between headers. And uh, after you've done that, that's how you'll get this final thing. Um, this final product right here and as you can see once you sign in I might have already showed you guys this but like once you sign in basically you'll have your profile picture all that so guys the video the um the link to this whole repository will be in my description so if you want to clone it or if you want to um, just get little bits of parts of it you can um, feel free to use it I'll, if you don't want to and you just want me to basically scroll through this real quick slowly then I'll just do it right here that way you could copy it um, word for word letter for letter so here it is guys you could feel free to pause it and get everything you need all this uh, CSS is for the pictures and the logout button um, so guys I hope you like this video um, and comment down below if you need help with anything or if you want any more react firebase uh, videos or anything any if you want anything specific and if I'm advanced at it I'll feel free to do it if I can't then I'll reply to you and tell you I'm not there yet and thanks for watching guys